Hey, Sea Wolves fans, it is time for Stony Brook women's soccer. The season right around the corner starting this Thursday against Fordham. And we're joined by the Sea Wolves head coach, Tobias Bischoff. Coach, always a pleasure. Here we are, preseason almost done, and your team about to embark on its 22, uh, 2022 season. How's that sound? Good. How are you doing, Sam? Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. Of course, it's always a pleasure. How's the preseason gone so far? It was a tough one. It's uh, very hard. We were lucky over the last couple of years um, with the weather being a little bit more pleasant. This time around, it was a hot summer and therefore preseason was a little bit tougher, especially those 3.30 in the afternoon sessions, 90s. It's tough, but, but the girls did a good job and they grinded it out. Yeah, we're under the sun right now, so only a few more to go. When you look at this team, Coach, you have a lot of new faces. 15 newcomers, 13 returners on your roster. How about that? Yeah, it's a big turnover for us. It's an interesting year. It's a challenging year for, for us as a coaching staff, um, for the team, but it's also a very exciting year. Those um, 15 new players who joined us this year, they all have great character. They bring a great work rate to us, and um, I truly believe that they make us better. Coach, it's also a new era for your program and Stony Brook Athletics as a whole moving to the CAA. A new challenge, a new opportunity. It's a league that you have previous coaching experience in. How about that for a sec, moving to the new league? Yeah, back into the CAA. Um, I know the league. I coached in the league um, for years. Um, it's going to be challenging. It's um, the, the CAA is higher ranked than the America East um, is. Um, it's going to be challenging for us. Um, our role is going to change a little bit. We were one of the better teams in America East. Now we have to prove ourselves and we have to see where we stand within the CEA. Um, super excited about the opportunity, um, new challenges, new styles to play against. So I'm excited and I know the team is excited. What would you like to see from your team once you guys start the season here in a couple of days that would really kind of prod you forward here in the first part of the non-conference getting ready for league play? Just to compete, show up every day. Um, we did that during preseason. I'm very happy with preseason, to be honest. Um, the girls work hard, they, they learn, they want to learn, they take in information well. Um, now we're getting closer and closer to, to game days. And I just want them, want them to compete, um, work their hardest, represent themselves well, represent us well, the university well, and that's all I can ask for, for from, from them as a coach. Um, the results will come if we do that, so therefore, like, I'm, I'm excited for, for, for the start now. Coach, you also have an excellent staff, Coach Rogan and Coach O'Brien joining you again. You have a little bit of continuity there, so how is it getting back for another season with them? Jim is around for a lot of years. Um, Shan is obviously doing doing a great job for us, and um, we made her recruiting coordinator going going forward now, which is a good step for her. Um, we also have Sarah, who joined us as a volunteer coach and um, a great student manager in in Kyra. I'm very happy with the staff, and um, to be honest, with having 15 new players and have such a big turnaround, it's it was a lot of work for us as a coaching staff, but um, they all did a great job and tried to prepare us as well as, as we could so far. Coach, looking at this season as a whole, you've been here at Stony Brook for a few years now. What's your overall goal in terms of taking the next step with this program? I think, you know, with changing the conference, I think it's we got to get used to the CEA. Um, the players have to get used to the CEA. It's, um, it's a little bit a faster game, it's a little bit more physical game. Um, it's technically a little bit a better game, tactically a little bit a better game. So we have to get used to that. We have to close the gap if there is a gap. We have to close that gap and then just represent ourselves well and like try to get back to the status what we had within the America East to be a team what competes for the championships. And I think that's got to be the goal for the next couple of years. Compete for a championship uh, within the CEA and then, you know, get back into the to the NCAA tournament and you know, the goal is still there like to hopefully try to win our first NCAA game. Well, it all starts on August 18th against Fordham. Coach, really appreciate the time. Thank you. Thank you, Sam.